Hey guys, Ooh, it's bright today. Want to talk to you a little bit about chiropractic, the vagus nerve, and your gut or stomach in that interplay. So many of you are familiar with the vagus nerve because I've talked about it many times in the past, but the vagus nerve is this huge long nerve that exits out, out of your skull as the 10th cranial nerve and goes to about every single organ in your body, a massive communication system. And it's part of your autonomic nervous system, which controls the things you don't think about, <clears throat> like breathing, digestion, heart rate, those kind of things. More recently, it's been shown, the vagus nerve, to be a super highway of communication between your gut and your brain. Now, chiropractically, we've known by stimulating or quieting the vagus nerve uh, that has profound effects on your health and wellness through the chiropractic adjustment. But this new information sheds light on how important the gut-brain communication is. And it's been shown that plant compounds, potentially harmful plant compounds called lectins in certain proteins travel through that nerve from your gut into your brain. And these are those proteins that have impacts that create those plaques uh, in Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. So this just shows uh, how important the gut-brain axis is. It shows uh, that interplay between all the systems of your body and how the nervous system controls and coordinates that. And it shows how important uh, what you eat can impact your chiropractic health, wellness, and your overall lifestyle. Uh, so the two takeaways, number one, make sure you and your family are getting your chiropractic adjustments on a regular basis to make sure there's no pressure on that nerve. And number two, a great book that talks more about this and talks about lectins is Dr. Stephen Gundry's Plant Paradox. Suggest you guys all getting that and putting in that on your read list. As always, be awesome and never unawesome. Bye.